Welcome to Reign of the Chatelaine. Our next episode. My name is Carolyn Brown. Dan Brown. Leroy's inside. Brian. Arkin. What's happening on this episode? On this episode, we are insulating and drywalling the inside of the orange tree. It's very exciting, Dan. We're going to cover up all that, whatever business, and we're going to get to the fun stuff. Fun. Fun stuff. <laughs> Trimming and mantle, and that's, that's the fun stuff. Painting is fun. Yeah. Adds all the nice stuff. What, what else are we doing on this episode? So we are also going to Aberfoyle Antique Market. I love Aberfoyle, Dan. And it, it's a nice outdoor antique market. We try and go a couple times a year. I'd like to go more than that, but it's pretty nice. Yeah. We'll uh, see if we can find anything for our project. Take a walk around. Yeah. We won't get work done here, but we'll walk around. And... Sometimes you got to take a break, Dan. Yeah. And I know you're all about breaks. I know. Yes. <laughs> 10 o'clock, yogurt and apple, 11.30, lunch. Five o'clock, <laughs> done for the day. <laughs> Just up on a ladder, Dan. Just up on the ladder. Yep. Doing our venting. On the ceiling. Our uh, cathedral ceiling venting. What's, uh, what's the purpose of the venting? So that the airflow can flow from your vented soffits <laughs> mm -hmm. from your vented soffits outside yes and you can see the light actually you can see the light coming up over along here because that's where they're opening on the air outside can circulate behind this yes and when you put your insulation in yes it doesn't squish it tight against the bottom of the roof it keeps an air gap mm. so that your roof can breathe the other side of the roof can breathe How do they get installed? Put up in the place, and then with a little hammer staple stapler. Well, hammer, here, yeah. With some T fifties in them. Classic case of some T fifties. against the ceiling so that when you're pushing the insulation up underneath of it, it can't it doesn't squish this. Mm. So it has leaves mm. to protect it. And one of the other things that we did today, uh, that happened today, was that the um, rough in got happen, got the rough in electrical happened. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could give the rundown of what we're, kind of electrical's happening. Here. Okay, so I'm gonna stand at the front door as I always do when I start explaining things in this room. <laughs> so you'll walk in the front door. And then over on the left side will be um, the light switches. And the door is a right opening door. So this door will remain stationary. It can open, but it remains stationary. And this side will open up into the room. So the light will be here, the light switches. So we have a light switch for the chandelier, the outside wall mount uh, lights, and then one for um, an electric plug out back. So the sofa is going to go over here and on either side there can be uh, lights, there's a, a lights plug for the for lamps and then why, are the plugs so high? why do people put the plug so low would, would be the actual question. They are so high because tables are that high and your plugs need to be able to plug in without having all that wire hanging down. Well, it's more of a design type. 
Did the electricians ask about that this morning? Yeah, yeah. good. And what did they say? Of course. Yeah. And then there's the, the box for the chandelier right there in the middle. Right. We did a heavy duty fan box. Yeah. This is thicker or heavy, heavier screws to hold more weight. And we got So that way you can swing from the chandelier yeah. here down. Screw it off into two uh, that wood on each side just yeah. to hold it up there. Yeah. Because the chandelier is heavy with all that, oh, that chain. crystal cut glass. I don't know. Probably weighs 50 pounds. Probably. And then you swing off of it. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so the rafters are all. So we got all of our pieces on there. Yep, very good. What's next? Now we're going to, uh, now we're going to do our hurricane ties. Oh, right. What are the hurricane ties for? So these here. Let me get a close up. Are a manufactured that ties. The manufactured ties. <laughs> well, it's, they're pre-made like this for screw holes mm -hmm. that go up onto the side of the truss and down on the top of the Let me give you a little uh, demo search on. Oh, great. We're going to go way on to oh. here. Oh. On to here. Here, I'm going to zoom in on that. So it ties it from here to here. Yeah. You really only need this one back wall done. Why this one back wall? Because if there's a huge wind gust through the door, it'll hold this that's on the back side that the roof would tend to lift. Mm. We're going to go overboard. We're going to put one of these on each one all the way around. Mm -hmm. Just to tighten everything down. And yeah, okay. Isn't this always fun to watch? Or no? Open up an individual Okay, well, let's just document this. many they said and then they all pluff up plump up oh, even squished. Each I know uh-huh uh -huh. what do you got so in your hand there Dan insulating the inside of the orange tree. yeah what do you got in your hand yeah. Ooh, an exacto knife you ready? this is always fun so what are you doing you're opening up a thing of insulation, insulation. Leroy's barking he likes to eat insulation. Not so good. So we can't have them in here. No, not good. So there's 10 pieces of insulation squished into the bag. Mm hmm Shh. Leroy, shh. And. It's actually pretty fun to watch. Anyway. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> so we're insulating. Yes. We got the ceiling done. Yep. We're just working on the walls. Yep. 
we're gonna get some paper bear in here. And... Are we going? Yep. What's happening now, Dan? We are putting some extra <laughs> extra blocking in the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Because we're gonna be mounting a big medallion, plaster medallion up here. Oh. That sounds and nice. We want something to uh nail or screw into to be able to secure the medallion. Some meat. <laughs> is that what you're is that what you're adding is some meat, Dan? <laughs> yeah. Rather than just trying to find these. Yeah. We're putting some extra meat up there. Yeah, some extra meat. <laughs> you know when the meat comment will come in for the medallion install. Good thing we got some extra meat. <laughs> One piece of block done. And then we'll get some meat on the other side. Some meat, yeah. Maybe we'll mark it so it's the same on both sides. <laughs> yeah, and I do think I'm hilarious, Dan. I'll give me some extra. Meat. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Just get that lined up. Throwing knives, Dan. Where are we? Aberfoyle. What's that? Uh, it's an antique market, I guess. It's an outdoor summer thing, summer and fall. Mm -hmm. And open on Sundays. It's up near Guelph, Ontario. It's Sometimes Saturdays, they have like a Saturday special. Oh, a Saturday special, yep. Now that the Christie Antique Market is uh, mm -hmm. no longer. This is like Ontario's biggest, or I don't know, something. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll go read the sign. <laughs> we try and come once a year, twice a year. Yeah. We hadn't. We hadn't. Sorry. For years and years, we hadn't. Yeah, for like 25, I bet we didn't come for 25 years. Imagine but, the stuff we missed out on in those 25 years. I know, years. but... We were so busy doing houses that we didn't have time so to. So busy, yep. What are we looking for? Uh, something for under the lights. What? Under the lights. To distract the eye from the urn in front of the laboratory. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Okay. It's five dollars admission. I got you because it's a big day for you. Oh, you you're paying today. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you covered here, Danny. Ten for two. All right. Are you gonna try and get in for under, under twelve? I'm under twelve. Well, definitely not a senior. Well, I know. So, have you found anything? Just some crusting. Some crusting. Yeah. Looks like the same stuff we have on uh, the orangery. I took a picture of it so that we can compare. Oh yeah. We could have used a little bit more for uh, to fill it in. <laughs> too late now, too expensive. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, metal pieces here, wrought iron and cast iron. And... You know what these remind me of? Pillars out of uh, Napoleon. Oh, yeah. Those are nice. Love Guru? Love Guru. <laughs> uh, there's some pedal cars up here. You know what we missed this year on Labor Day? Mm -hmm. the, uh, I've never been track. to that. Oh, down the uh, Icon Drive. I've never ever been to that. Oh, it's something that you'd be interested in, I'll remember it for next year. Mm -hmm. Just vendor after vendor, Dan. Mm -hmm. Chairs. With the butterfly motif on it, I know mm. someone that would like that. Did you buy anything? Did you? No. I was looking at some things and. Hit and miss, I guess, really. Mm -hmm. I'm always attracted to uh, syrup bins. But... Oh. Waste paper baskets. Maybe you're going to need one for your orangery. Uh, garbage? 
but really, let's face it, you know who would get into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think he'd find it to be probably a little too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then to have to be yelled at to stay away from it. Poor guy. Anyway, I guess that's it. We're out of here then. I guess that's it. Empty handed. We'll have to come back for the big show. The big Saturday show. Yep. Okay. But maybe the season isn't right for us. Sometimes you just gotta go with that. Mm -hmm. okay. So I've got the uh, phone pointing straight up in the air. It looks like you're on a ladder. Mm. What are you doing up there? I am hanging the first piece of drywall in Norgery. How exciting. The ceiling. Sweating my baguettes off. Mm-hmm. So we are uh, hanging this piece of drywall mm -hmm. and then we'll hang the other one so that the flat part is done. We've decided that there's a little bit of a drop down from the... Right here? Yeah, there's a bit of a drop down there all That's the way up, around. Yeah. Yep. Drywall on there. Put some crown, crown molding. Crown molding. Yep. Your big medallion. Got big plans for this little room, Dan. Mm -hmm. We'll deal with the dormer. Another. That's a whole other beast on its own. Uh, some framing, insulating. Mm -hmm. it needs to be done sooner than later. Mm -hmm. But it's not. A, we'll get the the bigger things done. Up the ladder you go. Got some more screws in there. We got the tape, we got the mud, we got the... What we need now is energy. Huh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's what I was looking to make sure it was okay. I wasn't going to say anything, but you nailed where that uh, light... <laughs> just using a drywall knife to uh, cut away where the electrical boxes that will hang the chandelier once it gets its wire and chain sorted out.
So one of the things about hanging drywall that's uh, is laying out the pattern to try and get where your seams are going to go. So a seam is where two pieces of drywall join together. 